Hello everyone, welcome to GA Consulting Pro. In this video, I'm gonna let you know how you can download free SQL Server setup and how you can install it. Not only that, if you are working on Power BI, then you always need a data source. And in this video, I'm gonna let you know how you can download and install AdventureWorks DW 2019 in SQL Server Management Studio. If you would like to know more about this, so please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm gonna let you know everything about it. So the very first what you have to do, you have to open your browser and on your browser, you have to just type download SQL Server. Once you would hit enter, then you can get this link, SQL Server Downloads Microsoft. Just click on this link. Once you will click over here, then you have to come down and you would get these two editions over here, developer edition and the express edition. Both of these editions, that is developer and express, both are completely free. So you can download any of them and can install. For this case, I'll highly recommend you to go with the developer one. You cannot just use the production version for this one, but for your day-to-day -day life, whenever you have to practice Power BI, you need to connect to the SQL server in a direct query mode, or you need to import the data that you have already in your database that you can use definitely for this one. So I'll recommend you to go with this one. You can just simply click on this download link and then it's gonna start downloading. Since I have already downloaded this file, it's already under my folder. And in this folder, you will see this is the SQL 2019 SQL Server Developer Edition. Now what you have to do, you have to just right click, click on this one, say yes. So if you haven't downloaded it, please download this one. Then what I recommend you just go with the basic one, but there are two other functionalities as well available over here. That means there is a download media and custom setup. So it's up to you which one you want to go for. If you are new on the SQL Server or if you have just started learning Microsoft Power BI in SQL Server, then just click on this basic setup. Over here, there are certain terms and conditions. Just click on accept and once you will click on it, you are going to ask where would you like to install. So let everything over here as it is what is appearing over here you don't need to change it but if you are already working on this one and you know where to install it you can change it after that you have to just hit on this install button and it's going to automatically download certain files you should be connected with the internet in order to work on this and here you will get that this is a free space that you are going to need and this is going to be your download size which is about 1.4 gb i have already installed it once everything is gonna finish, it's gonna ask you whether you want to download the SSMS or not. SSMS is your SQL Server Management Studio where you would write your SQL codes, you would restore or create your databases and much more. So for that, what you can do, you can come here again and you can directly download though once you will finish your setup it's going to automatically ask okay do you want to download the ssms then you have to just click on okay button otherwise just click over here and here you would get the option just click on this and here this is ssms tool sql server and application download sql server management studio click over here and this is going to be your link this tool is completely free to download you can download and install it i have already downloaded it as well let me show you over here. So this is going to be my SSMS setup. You can just click on it. You have to say yes. Over here it would be installed. But here since I have already installed it, it's going to ask me repair or uninstall or close. So that's what's going to happen. Now once you have downloaded it, we have to download one more thing. That is our AdventureWorks DW. I'm going to show you in a bit how to download that. So once you are finished downloading and installing your SSMS, the next step is going to be download your AdventureWorks DW. For that, we have to again go to Google search and we have to search our AdventureWorks DW 2019. So you can come here, just type google.com 
and here we can type adventure works database just type this one and you will get this link adventure work sample databases sql server by microsoft click on this link and here you will get all the files what we are going to do we are going to download these backup files and then we are going to restore it into our ssms so how to do that first of all you have to choose which version you would like to choose and i'll highly recommend go with this one data warehouse adventure works dw 2019 click on this and it's going to start downloading it I have already downloaded it but it's not gonna work from here you have to copy this file from here and then you have to paste it into your C drive so it's gonna ask you permission you can say yes and here you can see your file is now in C drive now you have to open your SSMS in order to install this adventure works DW 2019 data warehouse and now we are going to open our SSMS for that what you can do just type your windows key and search ssms and here you can see this is your ssms run as administrator it's again gonna ask you permission just say yes so very first it's gonna ask your server name so by default it's gonna take your own system name when you are gonna install your sql server so if you don't want to use your server name then what you can do you can just type here dot or you can type in small brackets local all are gonna work in the same way but you should always remember your server name so that in any case you have to provide the server name you can use it now you have to keep this windows authentication and click on connect as you can see that it's the same server name which have been connected and right now i don't have any database although these are some of the databases which gets automatically created when you install your sql server so these are the system databases always remember that and every database has its purpose if you don't know anything about it you can drop a comment in the comment section and i'm gonna let you know now question comes how to restore our adventure works dw so for that you have to right click on this databases and over here you would find this tab restore database once you will click over here then it's going to open up a new pop-up window over here you can adjust the size of this window and here it's saying no backup selected to be restored so first you have to select right now it's on our device so i'm gonna select this option and there you have to navigate it so now you have to click on this add button over here and here once you are going to expand this you would say okay this file is not appearing over here why it's not appearing because we haven't selected the right folder for that what you have to do you have to click on this c drive button over here and then in this window you would find this adventure works dw2019.bak bak is your backup file so you just select that file and click ok button now you have to click once again ok and now just click ok it's going to restore your dw2019 data warehouse so now you can see that it's being installed over here and under this if you will go you would find your tables your database and everything so if you would like to write a query you can write it just click a new query window always don't forget to select your database from here if you have selected any of these it's not gonna appear so it should be adventure versus tw 2019 otherwise what you can do you can just come on any of the table like for example i have dim date table i can just select and i will say script as and here you would find the different options so select to and say new query window that's it and here this is your query sql script and you can just execute it and it's going to show you all the rows in this table so now guys i'm sure you are very much clear how you can download the free edition of sql server which is the developer edition then how you can download the ssms that is your sql server management studio and how you can restore your adventure works dw 2019 which we download from microsoft website if this video is very useful for you please don't forget to share it with your other friends and also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe our channel for the future videos thank you so much guys for watching this video see you in the next video